Save All Blanc is a varietal that I have a particular affinity for because, to be honest with you, before we moved to the Finger Lakes and started making wine here, I had never heard of it. It's a hybrid varietal that actually has a great history, uh, and it makes a wine that many people say is similar to Sauvignon Blanc, but I, I think of it differently. I think that it actually has more of a, a Chenin Blanc profile to it than any other hybrid I've ever tasted. What's interesting as a hybrid varietal is it doesn't have those same sort of what some people call hybrid characteristics or characteristics that taste less like the fine vinifera wines that stem from Europe. So when we make Saval Blanc here, um, you know, we started in 2011 and we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're simply trying to make a delicious, straightforward, fresh white wine uh, that really shows its Finger Lakes character. Some vintages are a little sweeter, some are a little drier. The 2018 vintage uh, has a decent amount of sweetness. The 2019 vintage is a bit drier. So this is grown just up the road at Gibson Vineyard. We bottled this uh, with some natural CO2. So since we don't use plate and frame filters that filter the wine through pads of paper, we use a cross flow. And that basically uses thousands of tiny little straws that extract all of the solids uh, and only allow clean wine to go through. It's pretty remarkable because what that means is we're able to capture some of the original carbon dioxide from the active fermentation, from those yeast, and allow that to flow through to the wine. That little bit of CO2, that tiny bit of spritz, just lends some vivaciousness, some liveliness to the wine. Again, similar to Shannon on the nose, uh, a little more wild, um, but not much. It's got that similar lanolin quality, a, a little bit of stone fruit, some star fruit. Saval always presents really well in its acid, alcohol, uh, and then the way we ferment it, sugar balance. It's not one of these wines that tends to have searing acidity, though it can happen depending on the vintage. It's a wine that's much more in balance, and as a result, I think makes one of our most consumer-friendly wines. It's relatively easy to grow. Um, you can get a slightly larger crop load than you can on something like, say, Riesling, without compromising the quality of the fruit. And again, on the palate, we're getting all kinds of just fruit salad, fruit cocktail, uh, you know, Bing cherry that's combined with uh, orange slices. Overall, just a delicious uh, summer sipper.